Welcome to Chamber Exchange, a TV show. My name is Tim Murray, President and CEO of the Worcester Regional Chamber of Commerce. And Chamber Exchange, a TV show, is really a conversation with our guests uh, and hopefully an opportunity for you, our viewers, to learn about issues of, of economic development, uh, on issues of interest to, to the community. And we want to thank Bank Hometown uh, for helping make this happen. Um, thrilled to have with us in this segment a, a friend, a leader in this community, Cheryl Ann Gengel. Uh, and Cheryl Ann, uh, you are the co-founder and executive director of Be Like Brit. Well, welcome. Well, thanks for having me. Well, you know, uh, I want to uh, just take a moment and, just, and thank you for the incredible, you know, work that, that you're, you're doing with Be Like Brit. Um, but maybe for some of our viewers who may not be familiar with Brit's story and, 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 and the family story and, and what you've created in Haiti, maybe you could just give us a little, little introduction in that. Oh, sure. So Be Like Brit started uh, 11 years ago. My daughter, Brittany, who grew up in Rutland, went to Wachusett, had gone on a mission trip with her college, Lynn University. And she went there, fell in love with the people of Haiti, the country of Haiti. And sadly, while she was there, Haiti had a 7.0 earthquake. And for 33 days, we didn't know if Brittany was one of those 300,000 people that was killed in the Haiti earthquake. And sadly, on Valentine's Day, we found out that she was. And so she had sent me a text message three hours before the earthquake that she loved it and she wanted to go back and build an orphanage. And so that text message is really our mission, her dad, mine, her brother's um, family, and we continue to uh, honor her last wish. Right. And, and, and in that regard, um, you have kind of transformed lives of 66 plus kids and families, uh, a whole town and area of Haiti. So you took that, 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 that last you know, request uh, from Brittany and, and what have you done? I mean, just it's incredible <laughs> what you've done, but, but for, for our viewers. Right. And so just to be clear, it's been thousands and thousands of people that have helped us on this journey and we would not have been able to do what we have done without the kindness of people and especially here in Central Mass. I mean, Central Mass has been extraordinary to us, but we have helped literally from around the world. But we have 66 beautiful children and uh, pre-pandemic, we were having missionary trips, people that would come on trips to Haiti and build homes. So we've built 150 homes for our community in Haiti. We give out clean water when we can on a daily basis to again, in the community. And for us, we want to raise the next generation of leaders in Haiti. And so what we've also created is Brits Academy. So all of our children go to school at Brits Home, but it's called Brits Academy. And we had the last two years have been really exciting because the oldest children, they have to take, I would say kind of like the MCAS here, they have to pass this test in order to, to go on. And they, the four last year passed, and then this year the six passed with flying colors. So we're really excited about that to see what their futures hold. Well, not surprising you're being modest. And having had a chance to take a, a, a trip to, to Haiti with, with the Brit Britchenaries, uh, with a group to, to visit, um, you know, you've built a home uh, for these 66 children. Um, but it, it is a school. It's a health care. Uh, you've created a water, you know, a water, a safe water and clean water source, not only for, for the kids and, and people that work there, but for the ent entire kind of village and neighborhood around it. Um, created jobs for the community, and then uh, when people come down to visit, friends and family and supporters, uh, you also build homes in, in the neighborhood. Right, and that's what we wanted to to do because for us, it is first and foremost about our 66 children. But really, we're part of a community there, and you know, kind of like Worcester, we're part. Everyone's part of a community. And you, when you raise up the entire community, everyone benefits from it. And so, really, a big part for us is that, I mean, Haiti has like I think 70% unemployment. The, there are no jobs, and so we are the largest employer in our community. And so, when we able to pay them, and they have jobs, and they're able to take care of their families, they're able to pay for their children to go to school. Because in Haiti, you don't have the right to go to school. You have to pay to go to school. And if you don't have a job, there is no uh, welfare system. There's no support system. So if you don't have money for food, you're not going to have money to pay for your child to go to school. And, and, and you were able to do this through an incredible commitment of, of your family and friends. But that commitment was time, money, um, and, and just people giving to the effort. And that's an ongoing thing. This isn't one stop, I mean, one, one shot. I mean, this. To, to do this incredible work, uh, it takes contributions, donations of all different types. And how can people do that? And I know we've got a big event coming up, that, uh, but, but how, do, how can people contribute, learn more, get involved? First and foremost, they can go to our website, belikebrit.org, and they can check out everything that we do. And it's really important that people understand that 
we don't take when people donate to us, whether it's their time or funds, whatever they do for us, we don't take it for granted because there's so many other organizations that they could do this for. And the fact that they chose Be Like Brit, we want to make sure that we use what we have received um, most responsibly. And so our website is one. You can always come down to our office at 66 Pullman Street. I'm always there. I always say it's, it's my social life, so come on by anytime. I'd love to give people a tour and really show them and have them kind of experience what it is in Haiti. We actually have a home that we've built in Haiti, a mock of that down at our office, so people can see what a home actually looks like. And you know, unfortunately, you know, Haiti has been in the news again recently with uh, the, the, another earth earthquake the instability in the government with the assassination of the prime minister. Um, but, you know, that underscores why this is so important. Uh, you have created a Grand Guave, which is, uh, and oftentimes we see Port-au-Prince in the news, mm -hmm. uh, the capital. But Grand Guave is how far from, 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 uh, from, from the capital? Uh, actually, it's about 33 miles, 33. believe it or not, from its southwest of Port-au-Prince. And it's actually on your way down to Lakai, which is where the earthquake just was a couple of weeks ago. And that's one thing, 11 years ago, when we decided to build Brit's home, we wanted to make sure that we built it um, with the same seismic standards as San Francisco, never imagining that we would ever have to experience again. And Len, uh, Brit's dad and our son Bernie were actually at Brit's home when this earthquake happened, and they actually felt it. I've never been in an earthquake, so I'm I don't know what to expect, right. but they explained it as when Len was building it, that it would be like a wave. And Bernie was inside the building, was able to get all of the children out, but they said it was, it was like a wave. And, and you mentioned the website, but also on the Facebook page, you know, for, to, to see the actual facility is incredible. But then, you know, to see their kind of reporting, if you will, of, mm -hmm. of, of, of how well the building, uh, you know, was, was designed in anticipation of this and, and just, uh, how, how professional things went. I mean, people want to understand what you do and incredible work that Be Like Brit does. Go on the website, go on the Facebook page, and, you know, people will say, and having had a chance to go to Haiti, how, how do you fix a country like that? It's one person at a time, one young pr community at a time, and, and you want to, if people want to think about do their contributions and their time have impact, it, it absolutely does. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. And I think that's why it's important for all of our social media and, and maybe coming to our office or coming to an event, you're seeing where your dollar is going or your time is going or sharing our story on social media. Uh, people have question on our website. It says contact or you know, it goes to support us or contact us. I'm us. So I get the emails. I respond. Uh, and so that for Len and I, you know, Brittany's name is on this. Our family name is on this. And so we want to make sure that we're doing it the best that we possibly can. And, you know, we're figuring this out as, lo as right, we go right. as well. I mean, we never built an orphanage before in a third world country. But again, amazing people have sh stepped up like you coming to Haiti. I mean, people that didn't know Brit, knew Brit, um, know our family, don't know our family, people that just really want to help. And when you get down there, you really can't explain it until you get down there but the people the resilience is just amazing we have a big just a minute left but big event coming up november 11th uh, a, a annual gala yeah. celebration absolutely our gala this year and we're really excited as of right now it's in person which we're excited because we haven't had it for two years in person and we're excited it's an opportunity for us to really share with everybody what's happened really this past year and what our dreams are for the future because uh, we've had really exciting news our oldest children were set a transition program that they actually moved out of outside of Brit's home and they're transitioning out and there's just a lot of positive things happening which we really can't believe this time has already come. <laughs> yeah, no, they grow up quick, right? Yeah, they do. <laughs> yeah. Well, well Cheryl and Gango uh, from Be Like Brit, uh, one last time on the website? BeLikeBrit.org. Okay, and stay with us. Uh, that's just our first segment on this edition of Chamber Exchange, the TV show. These days, you've got your hands full in life. That's why we help you bank simply and securely with tools like Face ID and Touch ID. It's why we make it easy to make purchases on the go and get cash back while you're at it. Why we help you quickly deposit checks wherever you are. And it's why we lend a hand with sending and receiving money right from your phone. So even when you're on the move, you can manage your finances. Bank Hometown. Unlock your potential. Worcester, a city with heart, history, and promise. A hub of innovation in life sciences, education, and healthcare. 
home to multi-generational families, first-generation citizens, and next-generation baseball and hockey greats. Home to great parks, world-class museums, theaters, and restaurants. Worcester, the place to visit, to invest, and to call home. This is Radio Worcester. Local talk, local news, local events. We got it, and we've got opinions that you're going to want to hear. That Worcester will be thought of and spoken about. We're live every morning, 6 to 10 a.m., and if you can't catch us then, you can find us online day and night at RadioWorcester.com. This is your town. This is your morning show. Talk of the Commonwealth with Hank and Ben. Just watch me now. Just watch me. Just watch me now. Just watch me. Just watch me now. Just watch me. Just watch me now. 